HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey there YouTube, it's Zach again from hookahpro.com, the ultimate source for everything hookah. A little special thing, no review or anything, we're going to do a uh, wrap up for the uh, Sahara Smoke Contest. Hold on, I gotta get my paper. You guys are still sitting in the uh, back of my car, we're still partying it up here in Columbus, Ohio for the OSU versus, versus Eastern Michigan game. That's right. I had to write down every, every single uh, thing we got here, so. Uh, how do you want to start this off? Should we start off with the good or the bad? Start with the bad. Start with the bad. Oh, let's see here. The bad. So easy. I would um the worst out of out of all of them, I would say. Um, would probably be some of the hookah hookah ones. Yeah. Me personally, the pina colada. It was awesome for about five minutes, and it totally died. Yeah. Nothing. So that's going to be at the bottom of my scale. Uh, the champagne, I really didn't like. That was very bland. Yeah. Very bland. Butterscotch, same way. Kind of at the, the. These are more at the lower end of my scale. Uh, I think, I think, and pretty much all of the uh, Huka Huka Evolutions. Yeah. Bottom is pretty much no flavor at all. I think a lot of what it was was the Huka Huka flavors. A lot of give and take. It's either it's good or it's just bad. At first, I really don't want to say it because you know most of the shishas out there are pretty good, but the hookah hookah just really they they have a lot of improving to do in my opinion. Yeah. They have a lot of improving to do. Yeah. Um, definitely, I'll agree. The evolutions really weren't as good as I thought. The flavor wasn't there, and if it was, it died off really quick. But a lot of the hookah hookahs, there were only a few that. Um, I really liked where I could tell that the flavor stuck throughout the whole bowl instead of fading out quickly. Now I, I really do, I like their cut, I like you know the amount of juice they have, I like that it's not, none of them are dyed, I really like that about all of them, yeah. perfect, don't change a thing, but on flavor wise and you know, um, longevity length, of yeah, length of the bowl, you got, no offense, you guys got some work to do. You got a little bit of work to do. Try and at least you know get some of those flavors to at least last a little bit longer. I agree. At least to last. Yeah. That should be first priority. Second is you know get that flavor. You know, you guys they need a lot more flavor. Yeah, is pretty much what we're saying. Um, the now the hookah freak on the other hand, um, the hookah freaks those are more. They were more. I, I usually like the hookah freaks, but there are some here and there that I that I didn't like. Now the hookah hookah, pretty much, that's pretty much looks like a uh, yeah. two, uh, looks almost like two thirds I didn't like, one one third I did like. Yeah. So, but what are you saying? Um, the Amzaman's really good. Uh, really good from the um, Sahara Smoke hookah hookah line. Um, but like a lot with the hookah hookah, I mean, even just looking back at some of them, really only liked, you know, maybe a third of them. Of them. On the higher end, oh, what would you say? I probably would say my favorite out of all the samples, all the samples, would probably be, I would probably have to say the dragon fruit. Would probably be my number one out of all the samples that I received. Number two would probably be the Thousand and One Nights. That was really good from the I Am Zaman. I Am Zaman. And number three would have to be the spearmint. Those would have to be my top three. The dragon fruit, it was interesting, something very new, you know, that not a lot of people I'm sure know about. 
very good, had good longevity and everything, good flavor. About Maybe could use a little bit more tata flavor, but at least it lasted. And it was pretty good and it was an interesting flavor. Thousand One Nights was just delicious. Good spicy, good spice flavors, everything, you know, more traditional. And the spearmint, kind of like mint, but it was something, you know, off that line. And it, it was really good. We, love, we, we used the spearmint up like that and it's, it was gone. Right. It was delicious. Uh, you want to pick out your yeah, top three? I think my top three would definitely be the uh, Thousand and One Nights from the I Am Zaman. Um, it's got great flavor. The mix of spices is really good. Um, it's got that little bit of buzz that it gives you. Yeah, I do like that too. Yeah, it's, it's more of a traditional, which I like. Um, it's not as fruity as some of the others. But um, out of the hookah hookah line, um, I really like the spearmint. Um, probably would be my number two. You know, it wasn't as harsh as a lot of other mints that I've had, and it definitely had that little bit. It had a little bit of a buzz that it would give, um, and it'd be a great mixer, I'm sure, with a lot of other flavors. Um, and for number three, I'd probably have to say uh, probably, probably the watermelon. Um, it was really fruity. Um, it's a great. I think would be a good starter um, shisha. It's really fruity, um, no buzz on it, but I didn't really mind. I thought it was really good and flavorful, and um, the flavor lasted a little longer than some of the other ones. I, I will give I will give an honorable mention to the uh, to the uh, Seven Spice. It was pretty good. It was kind of comparable to the uh, Thousand One Nights. It's comparable, you know, pretty similar. I'm not a big fan of spices like the cardamom and stuff, but I like the Seven Spice. It was something you know off the fruity stuff, so yeah. I like that. And another one would have to be the chai tea. I, I like the chai tea too. It's a very interesting flavor. Uh, definitely. Um, the, spice, the spice blends were really good. Um, they were spot on um, with the um, level of flavor. Um, but I mean, I, I also definitely have to give an honorable mention to the strawberry. Um, it was really good. Um, but definitely, I mean, those, my top picks there are pretty much um, the others I really weren't a fan of. Um, well, I guess I also have to give a Honorable mention to Grateful Dead. That was pretty good too. It's kind of like a grape, maybe a little bit of the, uh, maybe a little bit of mint in there. I think it was, if I remember correctly. And that was pretty good too. I like the Grateful Dead from Hookah Freak. That was a Hookah Freak brand. Yeah, definitely out of the, out of the Hookah Freaks. Um, I like the uh, Sweet Tang the best. That was good. Um, it's kind of like an orangey flavor, kind of like Tang, kind of like the, uh, the the juice drink. Um, it had a really good aroma to it, like um, after you were smoking, if you were to smell it, you know, walking in, it smelled really good. But it had a really good orangey tang type flavor, but it wasn't quite orange. It's different. I would, I would definitely recommend that out of the Hooker Freak line. Well, um, overall we had a really good experience. I mean, yeah, most of them we really didn't like, but hey. We put it out there for you guys. Yeah. We taste these flavors, make sure they're good for you. If you need a recommendation, check out our videos, you know. We do lots of stuff. We put our taste buds on the line for yeah. you guys, just for you, the viewers. Thanks for subscribing to my channel, thank too. You. So a uh, big thank you one final time to Sahara Smoke for putting on this contest. Yes. It was awesome. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Sent out all these free samples. Probably one of the biggest contests, I believe, who could Hookah Pro has ever had. I've got over, I think over about 40 samples, maybe yeah. a little bit more than 40 samples. So yeah. it was, it was a very good experience. Got a free uh, uh, Vortex Bowl out of it, which was really good. Definitely. That I, that I was impressed with, you know, because those are, you know, 12, 15 dollars. Yeah. Thank so you. big, big thank you out to you guys. We really appreciated yes. it. You guys are awesome. And definitely check out some of the I Am Zamans and the Hookah Freak line. Um, of course, check out Sahara Smoke. There are some good flavors that they make. Yes, they got they got lots of. It's a good site, big, nice, reputable site. They got lots yes. of stuff on there, hookahs and stuff. Some of their hookahs are kind of interesting shape and stuff. Yeah. So, be sure to check them out. I would always recommend them. They're a good company. So, this has been Zach and Dave from HookahPro.com, the ultimate source for everything hookah. Long live Hookah Pro, guys. Catch you later. Take care.